Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nick and in this video, I wanna show you guys a really cool business tool and website that I stumbled across. In our milk hauling business, we have a driver room where all the drivers will check in for the day. They'll check their schedules. They might hit the vending machine, check in at the maintenance shop. It's kind of where they start and end their day before going out on their routes. And so historically, being an old school milk hauling business, we've always posted our schedules, company messages, all those sort of things via paper on the wall inside this driver's room. So I actually hung up about six TVs in there and we wanted to be able to start displaying company messages and pictures, schedules, those sort of things on TVs in the driver rooms. Well, I started doing a little bit of research and it turns out there's not a lot of good software tools out there, especially not really any free one that allow you to do this until I stumbled on ablescience.tv. This website is totally awesome. It's completely free and it's allowed us to post anything that we want up on these TVs, pictures, videos, websites, schedules, you name it. And it's extremely easy to do. And I'm going to show you all of that in this video. AbleSign is a simple cloud-based platform that lets you display videos and images on any screen. Whether you have one TV or a hundred, it's designed to be easy, reliable, and most importantly, affordable. Actually, it's free as long as you stay under one gigabyte of cloud storage. That one gigabyte of free storage gets you enough space for about 30 videos or 325 images. And if you ever need more space, their Storage Plus plan is only $9.99 per month for 100 gigabytes of storage, which is super reasonable compared to any other digital science solutions out there. And the story behind AbleSign is actually pretty cool too. The founders were in the digital advertising world for years and they were frustrated by the crazy high screen display fees and other companies were charging. So they decided to build AbleSign themselves and make it totally free to the public. To get started, all you do is download the AbleSign app to any Android device, Fire Stick or Bright Sign player. Then you log into app.ablesign.tv and use their drag and drop interface to build your playlist. They support most video and image files formats. Once you create a playlist, your devices automatically download the media files and start displaying them. Even if you lost internet temporarily, it keeps running. One thing I really like about AbleSign is how simple the user interface is. Seriously, you can figure it out in just a few minutes of clicking around. No confusing dashboards, no hidden menus. They also have a really smart groups feature. You can create a group of TVs and push content to all of them at once. Perfect if you want multiple locations or different areas of your building to run similar content. Plus, you can randomize playback, so not every TV is playing the same exact thing at the same exact time. You can set daily display times, schedule periodic displays, set how long each item displays, and even customize transitions between videos and pictures. It's really super flexible. When you click on the screens button in the menu, it brings you to this page where you can view all of your screens that you've already set up or you can click the add screen button to add a new one. It's a pretty straightforward process. After you download the AbleSign app on whatever device you're using to display content, you'll open it up for the first time and it'll give you a code to link the device to your AbleSign account. You just type that code in here by clicking the add screen button. It's a good habit to name your TV something that makes them easy to identify. For example, I have six TVs in our driver room and I labeled them one through six. I even put physical sticker numbers on each TV so you can quickly tell which one is which when you're standing in front of them. Inside AbleSign, you can give each screen a custom name and a description, which really helps keep everything organized, especially if you're managing multiple locations or lots of screens. When you double click into any particular screen, it will bring you to a details page where you can see exactly what content is being displayed on that screen. Here you can directly build a playlist for that particular screen, or as you can see in my case, it is showing me that the TV is a screen group member. In particular, you can see right here, this screen is a member of the truck photos group and it's managed at the screen group level. So in other words, this TV is displaying whatever content is within that group rather than displaying particular content for this specific TV. That's a really nice feature that allows you to effectively build one playlist of content and share it to as many screens as you want. On this page, you can also see other valuable information, such as how long each piece of content is playing before switching to the next content piece. You can also set the screen operating hours on this page. You can set it to play 24 seven or narrow it down to particular days and time windows that suits your needs. I've already hinted a few times at how the groups page works, but here's a closer look. On this page, you can create as many groups as you need. A group lets you bundle content together and then push that group's content out to as many screens as you want. 
It's a huge time saver. And just to be clear, you don't have to assign a group to multiple screens if you don't want to. You could create a group and have it play on just that one screen if that's what you need. In my example, you can see I have a truck photos group set up with a bunch of truck pictures added to it. Inside the group settings, I can easily add more content, control how many seconds each photo displays, and assign the group to specific screens. In my case, I have this truck photos group assigned to all six of my TVs. When you're creating screenshots or photos to upload as content for your screens, it's important to know the optimal image size for AbleSign, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. This resolution perfectly matches the aspect ratio of most screens, so your images fill the entire display without black bars or awkward cropping. Using the correct size gives your display a much more professional and polished look. An easy way to create properly sized images and screenshots is by using the shortcut Windows Shift S on your keyboard to open the snipping tool. After you take your screenshot, open it in paint, click the resize button, and then quickly adjust the image size to 1920 by 1080. Once you've resized it, just save the image to a folder on your computer, and then it's ready to upload to AbleSign. So if you're a small business owner or even just want to display cool content at your office, your driver room, or store without breaking the bank, I highly recommend giving AbleSign a look. I'll drop a link down low in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. If you found this review helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more small business tips, tools, and reviews. And thanks for watching.